some DIY clothing because I'm trying to look cute but like on a budget so we're gonna DIY clothing so hopefully you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys like DIY videos and also let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see more DIYs let me know what color your top is right now mine's white comment down below what color top you're wearing hopefully you guys like this video hit subscribe if you guys haven't already and let's get into the DIY <laughs> This first DIY may be my proudest DIY moment ever. It is seriously so cute. It takes like under five minutes and it literally looks store-bought. And plus, I'm pretty sure I saw something like this on Urban Outfitters website for like $79. And honestly, who's trying to spend $79 on just one top? So to kick it off, you guys just want to take a bandana. And I feel like bandanas have been trendy for like so long now that they are super, super cheap. So I picked this one up for under $5. You just want to lay it out in a triangle. So you just fold it over in half. Next up, you just want to cut down two pieces of cord, a shorter piece of cord to tie up around your neck, and then a longer piece of cord to tie up around the back. And next up, just take some fabric glue and you want to glue down all three corners of your triangle. So the neck piece and the two pieces that will go around your back. Just make sure that you guys keep a little loop underneath the fold glue free so you have room to thread through your cord. And you are pretty much done. All you guys have to do is wait for your top to dry. I'm pretty sure that mine only takes 24 hours to dry. Only, I feel like 24 hours is a really long time. But just read the instructions on your fabric glue. Like helium. watching my channel for longer than like one video then you would probably know that I wear denim shorts with like every single outfit so if you guys have an old pair of denim shorts laying around then this is the perfect DIY for you so just taking my denim shorts as well as some fabric glue some baking paper and some super cute fabric that I got in like the sale bin at the craft store because I guess it's just like an off cut firstly I'm just tracing down the size of my pocket onto some baking paper and then once I've got a stencil of my pocket I'm gonna then trace that on to my piece of fabric I didn't want my fabric to fray too much before I actually glued it on my pocket so just to make sure that in the time it took for me to glue it on it didn't fray I just quickly touched up the edges with some clear nail polish and then once it was dry I just straight up glued it on to my denim shorts with fabric glue and you are done you just have to wait for your fabric glue to dry number three I am so proud of how easy and awesome this DIY turned out guys I bought this white t-shirt this plain white t-shirt from Target for three dollars and look at how cute it turned out oh my goodness so first things first you want to crop your t-shirt obviously if you guys want to leave it you can totally leave it but if you guys do crop it and you already own a crop t-shirt that you're happy with the length of I totally recommend just grabbing that out of your closet and using that as a guide just to make sure that you don't crop your t-shirt too much and end up with a super super short t-shirt and I don't know about you guys but every single time I buy one of these cheap t-shirts they have zero structure so if you guys want to add a little more structure or you just want to make it look extra cute then you can totally go in and roll up the sleeves and just to get them to stay in place add a little hot glue or fabric glue if you're fancy but once you guys are done rolling up your sleeves you just want to go in with some iron-on patches and these are only like a dollar or so each from the craft store I got these ones on sale they were all like 50 cents each so I'm just gonna go in and iron them on if you guys want to protect your t-shirt even more you could just take like a piece of fabric or a tea towel while you're ironing it just to make sure that you don't burn your top and you are good to go you have the cutest top ever when you 
for next so this is what i was most excited about doing when i planned this video for some reason every single time i think about diy clothing i think of bleaching all of my sweaters and you guys i own a lot of sweaters so i was excited so kicking it off i'm taking some bleach that i put in a spray bottle and a dripper bottle if you guys are wondering why there's tape on these bottles it's because it was my skincare and hair care products and i was scared that i was gonna like mix it up and accidentally spray bleach in my hair that does sound like something i'd accidentally do so firstly i just went in and sprayed bleach all over my sweater just to kind of like saturate the bottom half i wanted it to kind of look like the bleach was moving upright so i saturated it with my spray bottle and then just added small drips above that with my little dripper bottle and then once you're happy with how much bleach you've added you just want to wait for your bleach to start developing and honestly guys this really doesn't take that long i want to say that i left it on for like no longer than 10 minutes once you're happy with how light your sweater or your t-shirt is you want to put it straight in the wash to stop it from developing and once it's washed and dried you'll be left with the most pinterest gold sweater ever let me know in the comments which one was your favorite diy mine was a bandana top because i'm just really proud of it also don't forget to let me know what color top you're wearing i hope you guys are having an awesome day though make sure you hit subscribe if you guys aren't already subscribed and also if you guys aren't following me on instagram this is it right here come say hey i always reply to comments and i will see you guys in my next video